there are many more advanced learning algorithms than the regression-based approach. And they generally attempt to directly optimize the retrieval machine, like a MAP or NDCG. Note that the optimization objective function that we have seen on the previous slide is not directly related to a retrieval machine. Right? Uh, by maximizing the prediction of one or zero, uh, we don't necessarily um, optimize the ranking of those documents. One can imagine that while our prediction may not be too bad. Let's say both are around 0.5. So it's kind of in the middle of zero and one for the two documents. But the ranking can be wrong. So we might have got a larger value for D2 and then D1. Um, so that won't be good from retrieval perspective, even though by likelihood function, it's not bad. In contrast, we might have another case where we predict the values or around 0.9, let's say. And by the objective function, uh, the error will be larger. But if we can get the order of the two documents correct, that's actually a better result. So these new, uh, more advanced uh, approaches will try to correct that problem. Of course, then the um, challenge is that the optimization problem will be harder to solve. And then researchers have proposed many solutions to the problem. And you can read more uh, the reference at the end to know uh, more about the, the, these approaches. Now, these uh, learning to rank approaches are actually general. So they can also be applied to many other ranking problems, not just the retrieval problem. So here I list some, for example, recommender systems, computational advertising, or summarization. And there are many others um, that you can probably encounter in your uh, applications. To summarize this lecture, uh, we have talked about uh, using machine learning to combine multiple features to improve ranking results. Actually, the use of machine learning uh, in information retrieval has started uh, since many decades ago. So, for example, the Rockio feedback approach that we talked about uh, earlier uh, was uh, machine learning approach applied to do relevance feedback. But the most uh, uh, recent use of machine learning has been driven by some uh, changes in the environment of applications of retrieval systems. And first, it's mostly uh, driven by the availability of a lot of training data in the form of click-throughs. Uh, such data weren't available uh, before. So the data can provide a lot of um, useful knowledge about the relevance and machine learning uh, methods can be applied to leverage this. Uh, secondly, uh, it's also driven by the need for combining many features. This is not only just because there are more features available on the web that can be naturally used to improve scoring. Uh, it's also because by combining them, we can improve the robustness uh, of ranking. So this is designed uh, for combating spams. Modern search engines uh, all use uh, some kind of machine learning techniques to combine many features uh, to optimize ranking. And this uh, is a major feature of um, these commercial engines such as Google or Bing. Uh, the topic of learning to rank is still an active research topic in the community. And so you can expect to see new results being developed uh, in the next uh, uh, few years, perhaps. Here are some additional readings that can give you more information about uh, how learning to rank uh, works and also uh, some advanced uh, methods. Mm -hmm.